the deadly aborigine, Buddy Franklin and Surioli, Louis Jedda and the good man. Well, here we are, Nat, down at the prayer markets. Very, very busy here. Nat, all I'm going to say is, brother, you might want to hold on to this hat. What is that? Yoink. What the? Well, take your pick, because somebody stole our shovel. G'day, Russ. Hey, Flash, hey, Nat, come on in. I'll show you a few tricks. Well, they look the goods. They've got their aprons on. Come on. What's it take to be a great butcher? Mate, you can pick it up pretty simple, mate. Look here, here, here. Take that pile of meat, throw it on the floor. You've just made ground steak. But you've got to be careful when you are a butcher because you've got to be careful with the knife. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm only joking. I actually cut this one. Oh, 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 oh. There was a guy here uh, who cut all his fingers off. He was cleaning. What was he cleaning, Gary? Over there, yeah, he was cleaning the electric saw, and what happened was he cut off all his fingers. And he got to the hospital, and the doctor said to him, He said, What happened? He said, I cut off all my fingers on a bandsaw. He said, Where are they? He said, They're back at the butcher shop. And the doctor said, Why didn't you bring them in? He said, he said I couldn't pick them up. <laughs> I know it's got a bit of blue under there. Well, I have to be honest, I've got Goodsy's jumper on. That was my nickname at, at, uh, when I played footy. There was Adam Goods. Brett Goods, I'm the brother they don't talk about, not very Goods. How long have you been following the Bulldogs for? Well, I started following them for a while and they took out restraining orders. I really started voting for the Bulldogs uh, when Dougie Hawkins started playing. Me and Dougie went to school together. It was Dougie's third year in year nine. And the test was, what's the highest mountain in the world? And I wrote, I don't know. I looked across at Dougie and he wrote, either do I. That's a bit about the sausages, mate. Well, what happened was me and Gary from Gary's Meats here in Paran, we designed a Thai sausage and we entered it in the Sausage King competition and not a word of a lie, we won Best Metropolitan Victoria Sausage of the Year so far. You're the Sausage King. <laughs> the Sausage King. They used to call me that in the shower too. <laughs> now these steaks are your younger steaks, only been hung for a month. That'd be your Rory Sloan, your Ollie Wines. What do you do with your, your Gilbert McAdam steaks? The real, real, real old, tough ones. Uh, usually pet food. I'll show you out here. <laughs> the secret is, if you want to be a really good butcher, you've got to get on really well with the customers. So you've got to have the banner. Don't forget, we've got the ribeye going for $29 a kilo. We've got the lamb short ribs. Don't forget to have the wagus. That's how you got to do it. Look, just, just say hello to a couple of the customers. G'day, mate. G'day, Matthews. How's the hanging? <laughs> yeah, women. Right. Right out. Well, there you have it, Russ. Thank you very much for showing us around and having a chat with myself and Nat on Deadly Times and Nat and Flash. It's been an absolute privilege. It's been my pleasure, boys. But do me a favour. Don't come back. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm not giving this back. <laughs> hey, hey, can you look at the aprons? Oh well, the jokes on them. I've got 50 aprons. Hey, one hat.